Hi, and welcome to Cloud Conversations for another demo with me, Peter Rising. Today, I am going to be demoing this to you fine folks who are watching. This is the Fetian ePass FIDO2 NFC security key, and it is absolutely brilliant. I have to thank the fantastic folks over at Fetian who have gifted this to me very, very kind of them for me to test and to share my experience with you. I can say that I've already tested this with my Microsoft 365 account as an alternative means of authentication, and it works brilliantly. Um, it's so easy to set up. You can scan a QR code on the back of the product, which will get you the user manual, but you really don't need that to use it with Microsoft 365. So why would you use one of these? What, why would you need this as opposed to using a text message um, to your mobile phone or the Microsoft Authenticator app with a with a six-digit code or a, an, an approval. Well, the main reason really is that this adds an additional layer of security. Multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication um, is all about uh, something that you are, which could be biometrics like a fingerprint read or a, a facial recognition or um, or a retinal scan. Uh, so it's something that you are. It can also be um, something that you know, uh, like uh, a code that is sent to your phone, uh, as we've already mentioned, via text or via the Microsoft uh, Authenticator app. Or in this case, it can be something that you have. And this is far harder for malicious actors to steal. Uh, now, in recent times, there have been quite rare, albeit, but but they have happened. Uh, there have been instances where um, people have been tricked into revealing multi-factor authentication codes sent to things like phones and uh, authentication devices. This is a lot harder to crack. So that is a great reason why you should consider using security keys as your means of multi-factor authentication when using, in this particular instance, because we're Microsoft folks, let's face it, Microsoft 365, but but other forms of, uh, of authentication into other cloud um, services. So without any further ado, why don't we take a look? Let's take a look at this Fission uh, ePass FIDO NFC security key. Let's see how it performs. To set up our feature and security key, there are a couple of steps that we have to take. First, we're going to need to log in to the Microsoft Entra portal at entra.microsoft.com. We're going to need to navigate under the Azure Active Directory section to authentication methods. And here, you need to check that the FIDO security key method is enabled. In this case, I've enabled that for all users, but you can target that to specific groups if you prefer. That's an important step. Um, once that's on, the next thing you need to do is go to the My Sign Ins page for your Microsoft 365 account at mysignins.microsoft.com and navigate to Security Info. You'll see here the existing sign in methods that you have for multi factor authentication. And in my case, I have a phone and the Microsoft Authenticator app there as well. But I want to add my security key as an authentication method. So to do that, I click on add sign in method. And from the drop down, I'm going to choose security key. Now, the reason the previous step is important when you're enabling the FIDO um, methodology in Entra is without doing that, you wouldn't see security key available here. Um, so important to, to do that preceding step. So check uh, security key and click on add. And what it's going to do here um, is it's going to get you to verify your existing two-factor authentication. So when you click on next, it's going to uh, send a sign-in request, which I'm going to approve on my iPhone. And there we go. That's done the trick and it's refreshing. And here we go. Now that we have verified MFA, we have to choose the type of security key that we have. The choices are USB device or an NFC device. This is an NFC device, so I will make that selection. 
I'm told that I need to have my key ready. Uh, and when I choose next, I'll be prompted to tap my security key on the reader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that key ready. So I'm putting my key into my laptop. In this case, I'm using a Surface laptop. Uh, there we go. It's recognized that very, very quickly. So I'm going to click on next now. Okay. And now we get some uh, choices uh, on how I want to create a pass key for login.microsoft.com. Is it an external security key or a built-in sensor or a different device? Well, I'm going to choose that first option. Okay, that's fine. Click on OK. Click on OK. Continue setup. Okay. So now what it wants me to do is enter a security key pin for the, uh, the, the security key. I'll do that now. click OK. Now it wants me to touch the security key, so I will do that. I'll put my fingerprint on. It recognizes that. And again, we refresh. Things seem to be on a little bit of a go slow with this today for some reason. Okay, final step, we need to give our security key uh, a unique name. So this is gonna help to distinguish it from other keys. So I will just call it uh, Peter's Fijian key. And click next. And I am all set up. So, and it's telling me here that I can use my security key instead of a username and password the next time that I sign in. Uh, and it's important to make sure to follow your security key manufacturer's guidance to perform any additional setup tasks, such as registering your fingerprint. Okay, so we can click done. And there we go. We can see that I have now got my new security key as a authentication method. So now I want to test my security key. So I've logged out of my Microsoft 365 account and I'm gonna log back in. I'm using a private browser here just to make sure that nothing is remembered, nothing is cached. So I've put my credentials in, it's waiting for me to put my password in, but what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna select the option to sign in with a security key. So here we go. Um, and my security key, um, you can't see this, but it's it's actually plugged into the Surface laptop uh, via USB-C. This is a USB-C security key. Um, so it knows the key is in there. If it wasn't, it would ask me to put it in. Uh, but it wants the pin entering as well that I uh, entered earlier. So I will enter that pin now and click on OK. So next it will ask me to touch the security key. So I'm going to place my finger on the key. And there we go. Simple as that. We are logged in to Microsoft 365. Now it could be that you want the security key to be the default method for signing in when you authenticate to Microsoft 365. Uh, how do you do that? Yes, it is possible, but how do you do it? Well, I've already done it and I'll demonstrate right now. I have the security key plugged into the Surface Laptop once again. I have my credentials already um, input into the sign-in page. I'm going to click next and here we go. We can see that it is detecting the security key on the first attempt this time. So it's going to ask for my PIN. I will enter the PIN number once again. I'll hit OK. Touch the security key, which I am doing, and I'm in. 
nice and simple. So how did I do that? Well, if we go back to the sign-in page that we went to earlier, my sign-ins from Microsoft.com. And once again, we go to the security info uh, tab within the My Sign-ins, and it all relates to the default sign-in method. Um, I have now got this set to Authenticator app or hardware token. Um, previously, uh, you can see the drop-down choices here. I had it set to app-based authentication with notifications. So simple as that. That's how you do it. So then, what are my overall thoughts on this Fitian um, device, this security NFC security key. I absolutely love it. It's, um, I've not shown you it outside of the packaging yet, but it's, uh, it's very small. Um, I would say it's got a nice little key ring loop there. So I'm going to place this onto my keychain. Uh, as I said earlier, it's, uh, it's a USB C connection, which I specifically asked for because I wanted to use this with my Windows device, my service laptop, but also my MacBook Pro as well. Um, and I've tested it on the MacBook Pro and, and it just works fine. I set it all up on the Surface Pro and then I went to log in on my, on my Mac device. Uh, and I went to, to my Microsoft 365 account, um, put in my credentials. It asked for the security key. I popped it in and recognized it, put the pin code in straight away it worked perfectly. So I am mighty, mighty impressed uh, with this Fetian device. Again, uh, many, many thanks to the team at Fetian for um, agreeing to send this to me. I cannot recommend it enough. I think this is so much better than um, relying on the other authentication methods. It adds a layer of security into the process that is much, much harder for malicious actors to, to break because this is something you have, again, rather than something that you know or something you are. Um, and um, it's, uh, it's gonna be far more difficult for them to, uh, to get their hands on this. And even if they, they did, um, they're not gonna know the pin code. Um, so brilliant, love this. Can't recommend it enough. I will very, very likely, in fact, definitely will be getting more. And um, I suggest you you do the same. So thank you for watching the video. As always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, the channel is doing wonderfully well. Thank you so much for all your continued support. We are now over 1,000 subscribers. However, still the majority of people who watch the show are not subscribed. So please um, do take the, the opportunity to hit the subscribe button um, on our YouTube channel. It does help us out an awful lot when you do that. It helps us move up the, the YouTube algorithms and hit the like button as well. And please do put some comments on also that all goes to help us so, so much as we try and grow our channel and bring you more um, fantastic content that we love to produce for you because we really enjoy doing this um, very, very much the whole team. Um, so do subscribe, follow us on Twitter at CloudCons365. We're also on LinkedIn now as well. So um, you can find us there. And although demos are not on the audio version of the show, um, you can check out our interview sessions that we do with, with guests from around the community uh, on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts and we're also on Anchor.fm as well uh, and many more. So amazing. Uh, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye.